Ciao e benvenuto, y'all. We are here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we are getting ready to take you to a brand new Italian restaurant. In fact, this restaurant just opened up yesterday. First day ever, so we're here for day two. Where are we headed to today, boys? Roma table. Roma table. Woo! Here is a look at the menu. Here are the appetizers. And down here, you can see the salad selections that they have available, as well as the dressings. And here are the pizza selections. They do have cauliflower crust for an additional $3 charge. Here are the pastas, and you can add a loaf of bread for only $4 more. And here are the entrees, as well as the sandwiches. We have heard that their Italian beef is really good here from someone who ate here just yesterday. And here are the sides. And here is the kids menu, pizza, bucatini and meatballs, lasagna, cheese ravioli, crispy chicken strips of fries, fettuccine alfredo. They do serve Pepsi products. And they do have a unique drink here called the Roma Blue, which is blue raspberry and lemon lime soda topped with a cherry. For the appetizer here, we have the garlic truffle bread stack, which is truffle ricotta, mozzarella, truffle oil, parmesan, lemon zest, and parsley. I love bread. And cheese. Yes. All right, Jennifer, you're gonna take your first bite of the appetizer. So there is a really strong aroma of garlic, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> So I've tried it with and without the ricotta mixture and both are very, very, very tasty. Um, with or without the ricotta, excellent. They really uh, pair well together. The ricotta mixture really brightens up that garlic bread and everything that's so tasty. All right, so I'm gonna take two bites here. I'm gonna first take a bite of the garlic bread with the cheese and then I'm going to take some of the truffle mix and put it on top and see how that tastes. So. One thing I really enjoy about this is how much garlic is actually on the garlic bread. Look at that, the back side has garlic, the front side has garlic. It's fantastic. And I'm actually gonna try some of the truffle cheese by itself. It's a good kind of mix, it would be really good. Um, and some lasagna, I could see that going very well pairing with some of the lasagna, but let's pair it up with this garlic bread here and try it out. I don't know if you heard what Henry just said. He said, this tastes really good. It's excellent. So there are a few things mixed in with this ricotta. And one of those is lemon zest, as you can see right there. And then some fresh parsley. I like the parsley. It's good. Right, Henry, what'd you end up getting there? Um, I got two of the meatballs and all of the noodles. And um, I got my drink before tonight. And I also got this. Bucatini noodles. And Gentry, what'd you end up getting, bud? I got the pizza with the big pig. The, the big, big pig. pig pizza. And that's all meats. What type of meats you got there? I got pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. That looks really good. All right, Jennifer, what'd you end up getting there? I got the baked chicken penny pasta, and it is chicken pesto alfredo sun-dried tomatoes, pine nuts, mozzarella, goat cheese, and fresh basil. All right, Brent, what did you get? I ended up getting the meatball lasagna, and the meatball lasagna consists of meatball ragu, ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan, and several layers of pasta. This is one of the few pastas that they don't make in-house, and here's a list of all the pastas that they do make in-house. Jennifer's getting ready to go in for her first bite here. And I just want to point out how pretty this is. The presentation is so nice. And also the pine nuts are nice and toasted. 
So I just built a bite here, a little bit of everything. And you can smell the fresh basil and the sun-dried tomatoes and that pesto alfredo. It just smells so good. So that is very, very tasty. There's lots of layers to all of the different items here. And the basil is so fresh tasting. I really love basil and this dish just encompasses all kinds of it. As you can see, it's in the sauce. There's fresh basil on top. And then it just goes really well with everything that's in this dish. The chicken, the pine nuts, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the cheese is so good. All right, I'm getting ready to go in for my first bite here. And what I've already noticed is looking between all those layers, you got some of that ricotta. And look at that meat. And all the Parmesan that they poured on top, um, they can pour some more Parmesan on top by request, but it comes just like this. So if you love cheese, like we obviously do, um, they definitely stack a lot of cheese on this. I'm gonna get a big chunk of the meatball because after all, this is called meatball lasagna. I'm gonna try a bite of the meatball by itself here. And they make those in-house too, don't they? Mm -hmm. They did mention that they're made in-house. It's got a hint of onion that's in there. Uh, lots of layers of flavor as you're biting into it. Let's go ahead and get some of that lasagna. I can barely uh, get it all on one little bite here. But look at that. All right, here we go. First official bite of the lasagna. I think a mark of a good lasagna, of course, the ingredients, the meat, the cheese, the pasta. But what really separates and differentiates a, a lasagna, in my opinion, a good lasagna, is the sauce. This sauce is phenomenal. It's got a good tomato taste to it. Just a slight tang, but in a very good way. This is outstanding. Well, Jennifer, the boys have been very quiet. I take that as a good sign that the food is good. Thumbs up if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs up, right? <laughs> Jennifer, you want to tell everybody what bucatini noodles are? Yes, yeah, so Henry is trying the kids' uh, meatballs and bucatini. And Brent and I had bucatini uh, when we went to Italy about, what was it, about maybe 12? Uh, it was 2009. 13, 2009. Yes, yes. Time flies. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, but we really got to uh, taste the different flavors of Italy when we were there and everything like real pizza, coal fired. That's how we kind of started loving coal fired pizza uh, for one thing. And also, one of the first pastas that we had when we, our first night in Rome, was bucatini and it's very good it's kind of uh, reminds you of a spaghetti and a macaroni all together so there's actually like a hole in the middle of the um, spaghetti looking pasta um, and there's also ridges on there so it really holds the sauce inside and outside so you get a really good bite here is a look at the dessert menu they have cannolis tiramisu limoncello butter cake salted caramel budino affogato gelato kids gelato and down here they have, you can get a coffee and a cannoli. That's a cool combo. And here are the coffee selections that they have available. And we just noticed on this side, they also have dessert cocktails, banana cream pie martini, key lime pie martini, tiramisu martini, Irish coffee, and an espresso martini. So Jennifer, I did not get sweet tea, but I wanna know if it gives your sweet tea alert seal of approval here. It's sweet so tea alert. <laughs> This sweet tea is very good. It is strong brewed, as you can see, so you can taste the tea in it, and it's not too sweet, and it's just sweet enough, so sweet tea alert. What'd you get there? Uh, I don't know what this yellow thing calls, but... It's a lady finger. Lady finger, and also I get vanilla with, um... Whipped cream. Whipped cream. The chocolate gelato. Looks really good. All right, and Jennifer and I got the limoncello butter cake, which is vanilla bean gelato, lemon curd, and powdered sugar. All right, Jennifer is going to take the first bite of the limoncello butter cake. Now, I always think it's interesting how food can bring you back to a place in time. And when I hear the word, before I even taste the limoncello, when I hear the word limoncello, I think of a town. What town do you think of? Sorrento, Italy, which is so beautiful. Sorrento, Italy. Sorrento, Italy is just filled with limoncello. Um, and when we walk the streets of Sorrento, very close to the Bay of Naples, it is so fragrant. The streets are lined with orange trees and lemon trees. 
and they offer you pretty much at every market free samples of limoncello. So limoncello is an Italian liqueur made from lemon zest. I love all things lemon, so I'm very excited about this and I can smell the lemon zest. It smells so good. A little bit of that lemon curd on there. That is amazing. This is a great way to end your supper here. That cake is, the texture of it is just perfect. It's like pillowy and all kinds of lemon and just enough sweet. It's not like too sweet. So if you want to end your meal with something that's just like lightly sweet, this is the perfect thing. And then you've got the um, brightness of the lemon and that lemon curd is so good. I just really, really love lemon. So it's, there's lemons all throughout the cake and then you've got it on the lemon curd and so good. All right, I'm gonna try cake. the cake first and then get some of that vanilla gelato that's on top. Very lemony, but also not overly sweet. Um, I was really worried that this would be overly sweet and it's not in a very good way. It's just, a, as Jennifer has already mentioned, a good way to cap off your meal but here's for the gelato. The gelato is very smooth, creamy, and I'm gonna pair it up now with some of that butter cake. Here we go. You can tell that the chefs here have really done their research to figure out the best pairings. This is such a great restaurant. I can't emphasize that enough. All right, guys, final bill. For all of that food, appetizer, four meals, and desserts, came out to $103.91 after tax and before tip. That was Roma Table. Henry, what did you think about Roma Table? It was good. What did you think about the Bucatini? <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you definitely love the gelato, right? I gotta say the dessert, I would just come here for it, and if I were to review it with stars, I would give this place a five. Five out of five? Yes. Jennifer. This place is so great. Definitely, you have to try this place out, Roma Table. From the time that we walked into the building, everybody was just more than welcoming. The whole entire supper, they were just, you know, can I get you anything? How does it taste? They really genuinely, you know, wanted to make sure that, it, you know, we were enjoying our experience there. Um, our waitress even said that, you know, they love kids here. It's a great family place. And then the taste of everything. Oh my gosh, we've got a sweet tea alert here. Definitely try that out. And then the pasta, it was just, oh, so good. And then you've got the appetizer that we had, the garlic bread. It was just, amazing and then the end of our supper we had the cake and it was not overly sweet it was just a great topper to the end of our meal and just really really great place to visit and definitely come here and i just noticed right here they have outdoor seating it is a screen porch so in the spring uh, maybe the cooler summer months and also fall this would be a great place to come and dine outdoors and my meal was excellent. That lasagna was fantastic. The sauce is where it's at. The sauce absolutely made it. I have to say, at least for me, I don't know how you guys feel. As far as Italian restaurants are concerned, this is my favorite Italian restaurant in this area. It used to be Paleo's over in Knoxville, but uh, Paleo's over in Knoxville closed down. They all closed down, all the locations. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Paleo's, but it, it is really good. And man, there must be some muffler convention in town because we have had to pause and continue to hit play. We're just going with it this time. So um, I'm gonna wrap things up by saying fantastic restaurant. Definitely stop by here if you love some great Italian food. Conveniently located uh, right here on the parkway, right across from the Walmart. This used to be the TGI Fridays location if you're familiar with that. And guys, we sure do thank you for joining us here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday, Everyday is Saturday. Is Saturday.